whenever my wife goes to the beer store, you can count on her to bring back a couple sours. Or more than a couple. Today I'll be drinking and enjoying the uh, Blackberry Sour Ale by Seven Seas Brewing. A Gosa style ale brewed with blackberry and San Juan Island sea salt. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew on this uh, very nice uh, mid-spring, I guess it's mid-spring now, mid-spring evening where the uh, the rain finally decided to stop. It's been a very wet spring for us even by northwest standards. And so when the rain decided to stop and the sun came out to play today, of course I'll make use of the back deck to enjoy some beers and talk about them to camera with all the little bugs flying around. Oh well, at least the wasps aren't building their nest yet. <laughs> Anyways, today I am drinking, I believe, my first Seven Seas beer on the channel. I've had Seven Seas beers before. They make a couple very nice, they make several very nice beers that I have experienced. I want to say they had a black IPA that was one of my first. That was probably three, three years ago or so. Um, but today, thanks to my wife's beer trip over the weekend, I am enjoying a blackberry sour ale. It is a Gosa style, so that means it incorporates a salt element. Uh, traditionally, Gosa, I've talked about it elsewhere. Traditionally, Gosa is brewed with salt water, and so modern um, variants will uh, add salt to the water at some point in the process. And uh, let's uh, see how it smells and tastes. I do notice there is pretty much no head on this. I have to really work to get any any bubbles to come up now. Um, and they disappear rather quickly. It smells um, like a pretty decent blackberry puree. Which I suppose is a good thing. Being here in the northwest, blackberries are are a fresh thing. I wonder. Okay, it's not too old. It's from last November. Yeah, it's kind of it's a blackberry puree flavor, maybe a almost a fruit leather smell rather than uh, fresh blackberries. And I wonder if that's the uh, the salt working together with the blackberries and kind of changing its character a bit. It smells inviting. Now, fruit leather is always a <laughs> tasty treat, so uh, let's see if it uh, if the taste lives up. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, in the story of Gosa, Gosa is likely derived or originating in a town in Germany. I can't remember the name of it, but there was a salt river, not a brackish river, a salt river. So it might it likely the water likely flowed through a a salt mine or a, a salt deposit. Um, before coming out of the spring and forming the river, whatever. So the brewers of that city used that salt water to brew their beers. And these beers, when fresh, were sweet. Very unique things. However, um, as the popularity of the beer expanded and they began uh, exporting this beer just a few towns over, and we're not talking about international exports, this is hundreds of years ago, um, the the beer quickly turned sour. Like it was sweet when fresh, but then it went sour very quickly. And it was super popular outside the town of Gosa. I mean, it was popular in the town of Gosa, but, or in whatever town the Gosa was from, but it was super popular outside. And there was this difference. In town, the sweet beer was popular. Outside of town, the sour beer was popular. And then there was, you know, arguments over who was right and all that kind of stuff and the sour people rang, uh, won out. Uh, that's a gross simplification, but that's essentially what happened. And I believe the style disappeared for a while and was recreated after World War II. And, um, and the sour version is what was recreated. Um, anyways, all that to say, I find it interesting that this beer, while still a sour beer, is not bitterly sour. It's not super tart. 
Um, and not every ghost it has been. There's some ghosts that are balanced very nicely, but this seems even less than some of the others I've had. So, for instance, a New Belgium's uh, Margarita Gosa, Margarita something, Margarita. It's a it's a Margarita themed Gosa beer by by New Belgium, which is lightly tart. This is even even less so than that. And I'm tasting the saltiness, and it produces this really nice kind of creamy flavor in my mouth. That was a really long bunny trail, wasn't it? I'm not sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of got this fruit juice, maybe fruit leather, uh, raspberry character. And then this salty, kind of salty uh, uh, backbone. And together, they have this almost creamy character. That's quite nice. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. This is a very tasty beer. Uh, it is very light. I would expect, I, I would have expected with the tartness that to be real dominant and or for the blackberry to be a real dominant fruitiness, brilliant, bright, fresh fruitiness. And it might be the age, but it might just be the style. And it's certainly not bad for it. The overall kind of muted tone of the fruit and the saltiness, just kind of muting the sourness, uh, makes this a very, I think, a very easy drinker. And that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Or at the very least, it's a thing I enjoy. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to call this wraps. This has been me, Chewing the Brew, drinking the Sour Series, Seven Seas Brewing's Blackberry Sour Ale. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.